Welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. Today's game looks like I get to go first. But uh, before I before I start, and before, I just want to talk very, very uh, briefly, you know, about uh, what uh, you shouldn't do about the coronavirus. And is that uh, you shouldn't uh, panic about it. Because uh, panicking will lead to fear. Which is, uh, which uh, I guess, like, it'll prevent uh, your brain from using uh, logic. So, I mean, it definitely, I mean, if, and it's a virus, so, and the virus can't survive if, you know, if it kills its host. <laughs> that means the virus died, part of it dies as well. So, all right, so, uh, that's it, so, it could start. Let's start playing the game. Here's my first roll, and I get a nine. So I will get Connecticut Avenue. Really, Arthur, he already has a railroad. That is not good. He, his first roll is a five, and he gets a railroad. Obviously, would like to, you know, collect some railroads. That's what Arthur get. Whoa! Arthur only has one property so far. And I have four. It's a railroad, by the way. Arthur finally got his second property of the game. Look at that. I got a railroad. Of course, it's short line, so... Arthur will be headed to jail, but of course he's going to get out instantly. Out you go. So, dust yourself off. Pay the fifty dollars. What's he got for? Look at that boardwalk. That is huge. If you you know boardwalk. Nothing wrong with collecting boardwalk. Hopefully, I can get park place. But you know, Arthur's probably gonna get park place anyway. Oh no, I can't afford it. So Connecticut Avenue has to go to pay for that. I am down to forty dollars. Right, Arthur, to collect that property. Ooh, that, this is a good one. Kentucky Avenue has to go to pay for that. Well, I have zero dollars now. Well, let's not take any chances. New York Avenue has to go so I can... So I get to be make the first trade offer of the game. It is for Metatrain Avenue. Arthur said yes to my deal. It's good, I need that. Come on, 28 to Arthur. Imagine you got a one to one. That would have been good that I made the trade, you know? Because he would have got Baltic. He would have had both Baltic and Mediterranean. Really, he has two railroads now. Oh, come on, $100? How is that helpful? Me giving Arthur, you know, $100. So, let's see what else to go. Boardwalk, I have to go to pay for that. Don't get a five. Phew, he got an eight instead. $32. That's good. I need $32. Three to three. Uh-oh, my piece is going to jail. But thankfully, I will be getting out instantly. That makes sense, you know, to get out instantly. It's early, so why not? Phew, then you not land on Pacific Avenue. Oh, come on, I could have got a three and get the Monopoly. Ooh, you can't be paying one ninety four. You only get to keep six dollars of that good money. Although of course in the future you'll be paying, you know, two hundred. You're paying the full two hundred. So paying one ninety four, you know, not as bad as you think. Hopefully you know he'll buy a property and then I can get it via auction. Alright, this is not Marvin Gardens and I believe Virginia Avenue has to go to pay for that. 10. Let's see, what is this? Go to jail. I know it's fifty dollars, so it's mortgage. Mediterranean Avenue, and then get on instantly. I get to mortgage your property, then I'll get out of jail. Oh no, I'm running out of money. This is not good. Phew, let's come on, Arthur. Yep, pay no rent. Not good. Ridiculous. So let's see. St. Charles Place has to go to pay for that. 11. Alright, this is not good. He owns two green properties. I wonder what few come on. I wanted, you know. How about a five? He got a six instead. 
$113. And we could afford a green property. Good, I needed $200. That is not good. But hopefully he'll land on Pacific Avenue. He can't afford it, so we don't have to worry about that for now. Pay Arthur, $50. How was that helpful? You know, me giving him $50. I'll auction this. Oh no, he has $163. How much? $167. All right, got a decent discount. $167. Save $13. Clearly forgot I gave him the $50, but hey, save $13. That could be good in the long run. 10. Ooh, that is mortgaged, unfortunately. Phew, that's what I wanted. Atlantic Avenue has to go St. James and it's auction this. So let's see how much do I get for it? Wait, 183? See, that that was what I was afraid of the first time, that I get it for 183. I figured I wasn't thinking about the $50. Good, I have two railroads now. How about you land on one? He owns Venture Avenue. How about a four? He got a seven instead. There's no good. So we got 395. Not good. Really? X was fun matures. That means he can afford Pacific Avenue now. Alright, he bought. So Arthur now finally has a trade outlet. So what does he want? What a surprise, Connecticut Avenue. It took him almost seven minutes to get his first trade outlet. Oh, you got the thing I own that one. Uh-oh, two and a two. Oh, no, Chevy. Few ten. Hopefully, I can ask go. Get some money. You inherit $100, so let's... Let's not take any chances. I'll take Pennsylvania Avenue off his hands for $400. It's a good deal. He gets $400, and I get Pennsylvania Avenue. That is a very good deal. Now, Arthur, I believe you have 400 so Arthur can't get a Monopoly now. I'll go to St. Charles Place. He would have landed on Pacific Avenue. That was a good deal. Although, of course, let's see. Am I going to have any money if I afford? Oh, good, I can afford. Just in case if I land on Park Place. I honestly, look, I picked the wrong one. Really? $45? Does he need really $45? Look, look at that. I have a Monopoly. Of course, it's, you know, Baltic and Mediterranean, but... That's fine. Take it, welcome to Boardwalk. Let's unmortgage. Oh, I can't do Boardwalk. Let's do Meditrade Avenue. So I got one Monopoly. I still have a chance at, what, three more? Let's see, I have the orange property, the, ooh, the purple property, and Park Place. I wonder if I'll get all three. So, Arthur would like... Pennsylvania Avenue. Unfortunately, he did take my money, so he did accept my deal. He should have rejected the deal, but of course, in his mind, he was like, oh, look, I get $400 for a property. He's like, I'll take it. Phew, and he gets assist. Of course, because of that, he can afford all the properties to buy. 10, all right, take $50. Uh, let's unmortgage Boardwalk. Oh, what? I usually unmortgage, I usually build houses. He would have landed on it. Wow, I had plenty of money to put, how much I had? 189 wow. Could have had 320 at least, if not fourth. I don't think I had. I mean, you can obviously go back, see what, what I would have had. I would have had 320 or 450 Go to jail. I'll stay in jail. Even though there's very little chance of him paying off the jail fee. Good thing I stayed in jail. 
I would have got double, so now I get out for free. So I did not gain or lose any money in jail. So I believe Arthur, as of now, I believe he only has one trade-up for now. He could get the Orange. He could get Electric Company. He could get Park Police. He, he could have up to four trade outlets. So Arthur would like to make a trade offer. And he has two, actually. I forgot he has two. Connecticut and Sip. So we can have up to five. He has two now. It's up to five. Why did I say one? Was it? Oh, come on. He landed on Mediterranean Avenue. All right, I'll take four dollars. You land on Baltic and Mediterranean. Imagine you land on Baltic again. You only had to pay me eight dollars. All right, six dollars to Arthur. I'm okay with that. Arthur, he got Tennessee Avenue. I figured he would get Tennessee Avenue. Seven. All right, I'll take the fifty dollars back that I just gave you. I'll be taking that right back. Ten. Let's put five houses here. Three on Baltic, two on Mediterranean. Don't get double few. All right. So, guess, let's see. Let's take a chance. Note 22. Receive for services. All right. So, let's put three more houses here. I believe they'll both have four. It's much better than with, you know, no houses than when they have four. Advance to go. So they get hotels now. That's good. I like to put hotels here right away. Even if I haven't unmortgaged the properties. Hopefully I do not get a four. Good. Or the seventh is go back three spaces. That's fine. So three properties are left to be sold. Electric Company. States Avenue and Park Place. Who will get them? Or, I mean, yeah, well, some of them will have to get them. Well, you, you never know. If I get Park Place, you know, then maybe property won't be sold. But of course, the electric company does have a you know, chance kind of attached to it. Oh, I forgot Arthur's going to jail. Will he get out instantly? No, he will not. 18 off his jail fee. Veggie gets a one and a one. Ten, let's see. Advance to go. Collect two hundred dollars. That's good. He got a ten, so he's gonna use his get out of jail free card. That's what they do if they have a get out of jail free card, they'll roll twice. If they don't get it, they'll get up for free. Oh come on, alright, let's unmortgage. St. Charles Place and Virginia Avenue. Bring those back. That was good. He did not get doubles. He would have to pay the $50. And of course, I guess Electric Company technically has a chance card attack attached to it. Of course, so does Waterworks. For good, he owns Pacific Avenue. Oh, come on, income tax. How was that helpful? Arthur Gut Park Place. All right, I figured Arthur would get Park Place. I did get Baltic and Mediterranean, so... Well, he is not getting Connecticut Avenue. Under any set of circumstances. In fact, I may have to trade for a bit. Let's see, I'll bring back St. James Place. Even though I didn't gain any money from Go, I landed on income tax. So Arthur got one, he stopped from getting one Monopoly. Actually, it's been two so far. Will he stop me from getting all three? He did not stop me from getting bald to get Mediterranean. Which, of course, you know, is not good, you know? That means I have to go for, I guess, possibly go for Connecticut. Really? Bank error in his favor. Really? He does not need a bank error in his favor. But he's going to get one anyway. So we get to name. Good, good. Land on Pacific. How about a 12? Oh, come on, really? A 4? Income tax again. Look at that. Thank you for landing on Mediterranean Avenue. $250. I wanted to use that for go money, so... 
of New York Avenue. Let's do New York Avenue. One of them would be nice. Good thing was not the double railroad card. He would have just moved the next railroad. Although he would have avoided landing on, you know, States Avenue. Well, you're not getting Boardwalk. Why would I give you Boardwalk? Two and a two. Phew, there we go. He actually owes me the money. I am, you know, starting to hopefully start to unmortgage property. So, wow, he landed on two purple properties. That is ridiculous. I got $24, which I have to give back to Arthur. So, see, that's why I didn't unmortgage Kentucky Avenue. You know, I was afraid it landed on luxury in yeah luxury tax. Yeah, I was right. It wasn't income tax. Why did I think it was income tax? That's luxury tax. Good, good land on go, and I'll take fifty dollars. So I just got two hundred fifty dollars. How about you land on you know, I'm an apple again. But so now it's on Kentucky and Illinois. I'm gonna bring those back. There we go. $250. It's good, so I definitely will have to make some trades in order to win, even if I get States Avenue. I guess, in theory, I could end the game, but it would, it would seem, you know, very unlikely. Or just take a while. Let's see, what did he get? He got a 12. Arthur got States Avenue. Now, definitely have to make some trades. Because I only have one Monopoly, and of course it's, you know, Baltic and Mediterranean. You obviously, I obviously would need some help with that, you know. $26. One more. Pay Hospital. Not good. Collect yellows from Earth there. Let's add mortgage to that, and there, I have unmortgaged all the properties. If I get a two, I'll have to remortgage, or if I let an electric, not electric company, I'll go to Illinois. I wanted the utility card. You know, the good nearest utility. So then I could have bought it. But at least I'm at Illinois Avenue, so that's much better. So Arthur would like to make a trade offer. He wants Boardwalk. And his offer does have to be rejected. Good. Keep landing on Pennsylvania you know, Avenue. Let's see, what do I... I'll save it for the railroad. I guess I have to. No one has the utility yet. Look, that I have the utility. I just didn't know it has the utility, but now I have the utility. So now I'm definitely going to save it for the railroad. I need $1,000 for that. Hopefully it'll help by him landing on Baltic and Mediterranean. Or the utilities. That'll work. You know, a 12 would be nice. Instead, he gets a 4. Not a 4, an 8. Well, why did I say 4? That was a mistake, you know, saying 4 instead of 8. Um, clearly making some mistakes here. Alright, you know, $18. That's okay. I'll collect that. Up to 253. So, Arthur landed on Pacific Avenue. Set, what's this? Life and Germany up to 553. Good, let's see. So, as of now, the max I can give Arthur is $50 on the railroad. And the max he can give me is 4 I guess what? We'll you Connecticut Avenue. Avenue. Set, what's this? Oh, come on, assist. Come on, I can't believe I got assist. I think I, I think I misspoke on assist. I think I clearly slurred that. $150, all right. Assist. Wow. Definitely messed that up.
Even I heard that. I get 150, now I have to give it away, and now income tax. Wow. And now Arthur is going to jail. And of course he's going to get up for free, because... Really? I pay off his jail fee? He has a get out of jail free card. He was getting up free regardless. I just wanted him to use the get out of jail free card. Nearest utility, so... Gain 50. Has to give me 110. Good, I'll take $110. You know, fine with that. 478. Three, let's see. Take it right in the reading. $50 to Arthur. I'll take that 50 right back. I give him $50. And then Arthur went on a railroad. So it's like I pass going. So Arthur gets $50. If I get that card, and he gets 200 if he gets that card. So up to $728. So hopefully I can take Reading Railroad away. And so I get 200 if I get that card. And Arthur have to give me $100. I don't like it where I get that card. And, you know, I have to give him $50. Double railroad card. Thank goodness it was the one spot where I own that railroad. Good with Glenn, the utilities. Utilities. <laughs> Clearly need to swallow. Let's see, how about, he got a seven, so he owns Indiana Avenue. Six, good. Four to four, yep. Three to three, all right. Don't get a two or two or, or three to three. He got a five instead. Really, second prize beauty contest. Six. Nine hundred forty. How about a ten? Instead he gets a nine. Alright, ten dollars. Ten I could have made the trade, so... Hopefully I do not get a four. Getting a four would be bad. So Arthur would like Connecticut Avenue. And Zoffer does have to be rejected. Up to no. Hopefully no, I don't get assessed again. Maybe Arthur just, you know, give me the money. Look at that. Up to 968, so 32, a 6, we'll get it. We'll get a 7. Good, good, $22 closer. So I'm up to 990. Good. How about a 2? So he gets an 11. Oh, he didn't give that in any of them, so 5. Income tax. So let's make the trade. Even though this could be a mistake, you know, I may have to mortgage a property, but I'll take Reading Railroad off his hands for $1,000. It's a good deal. He gets $1,000. And I get Reading Railroad, third railroad. And he's a chance to you know, land on it. It's a deal. Nine. Oh, come on, I wanted to give me some money. Thing. And then boardwalk. Let's avoid income tax. Four and four. Good, that helps. $22. That'll help if I land on income tax. Five. Oh, well, yeah, he owns Pacific Avenue, so. Good. Only $6. That's okay. So let's save up $8.25 to take Pennsylvania Railroad from him. You paid a hundred dollars. He got a ten. I'll take another hundred dollars. There you go. You paid a hundred dollars. Arthur is down to ten seventy-five worth of assets. So what does he want? St. James Place. Of course, you know, St. James Place, you know what he wants. Even though I technically have two of them, so he wouldn't get a monopoly by gave him St. James Place. Thank you for eight dollars. I needed eight dollars. Up to four sixteen and my piece is headed for jail. Will Arthur pay off the jail fee? That was the wrong railroad. It was turn one, turn two, nothing, so I believe seven tenor doubles will get pay off the jail fee. He oh doubles so he gets another shot at it. So now it's, I believe, 
eight or nine pays off the jail fee. He got a, wow, he got a nine. One hundred dollars. Now the question will I get to gain money? Well, I also lose fifty. Well, I don't lose fifty. Well, thought I was going to lose money. What happens here? Go back three spaces. I don't mind landing on that. You'll go back to the New York Avenue. I own it. That's the good place you go know, with go back three spaces. I just don't want to get in it with, you know, the Monopoly. Not the Monopoly, the income tax. Why did they say the Monopoly? Apparently not doing a good job at remembering. Take $26. Really? Do oh, doctor's fee. Pay $50. Double rail worker. Good. I don't mind looking at double rail worker. Arthur's headed for jail. Will I pay off his jail fee? Although, yes, it is, it is a little tougher. Not impossible. Just tougher. So, Arthur would like boardwalk. Of course, his offer does have to be rejected. That doesn't help. $25 off the jail fee. I believe he still has a get out of jail free card, so he's gonna keep whatever money I give him. 0 for 2, so use that get out of jail free card again. Just like he did earlier. Dust yourself off. Get out of jail for he gained $25 in jail. Up to $677. Sure, $777. Thank you for giving me $14. That is helpful. You know, $14. Good. He got a four. So let's make the trade that mortgage property. So I'll take Pennsylvania Railroad off his hands for $825. Then I'll mortgage a property or two if I have to. It's all right. I clearly need all four railroads. And clearly the game was like, if you want to do it, you have to mortgage a property. So we're going to mortgage Connecticut Avenue. Pay the $200 for income tax. Pay me $50. It's good. That's it. Let's unmortgage Connecticut Avenue. I have $10 to walk around the board with. And Arthur's headed for jail. Really? Let's see. You inherit $100. It's good, I needed a hundred dollars. Arthur's now down to 975 worth of assets. Well, you're not getting Connecticut Avenue. Why would I give you Connecticut Avenue? What sense does that make? Really, he's gonna get out for free without the use of a get out of jail free card. What happens now? Take all right, fifty dollars, okay. At least the 50 that you would have paid to the jail bank goes to me. That's good. Let's see, I'm gonna go for, come on, double railroad card would be nice. How about, or any railroad? You know, it's $200 on any railroad. Or a utility. What, he got a six, $20. I obviously could make a trade for I mean, that will happen. Let's use this go money to trade for Vermont Avenue. This is good. This will get rid of a trade outlet. I have no problem eliminating trade outlets. So I'll take Vermont Avenue off his hands. Oh, I should have did Orient. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Does it actually could matter if I land on Oriental instead of Vermont. So let's save up. $2,250 for Vermont Avenue. Not Vermont, Orient, Oriental. Wow. I said Oriental. So, of course, this reduces the maximum amount of money I can give him $6 on. Decreases it from 2 to 1. So he has 1, I believe now, I think 3. Boardwalk is 1. Orange is the other one. And, of course, uh... Pennsylvania Avenue is the final one, because he likes the oranges, so he only has one. He'll want to offer that as trade. Let's trade money 
Phew. Get assessed. It's good if you get assessed. $45. It's because you know, you know, you don't have any houses, so. I have no problem if you, you know, get assessed. So. All right, I'll take Indiana Avenue. How about you land on Baltic Avenue, you know? Or a railroad. Either one is fine. You know, 520 and my piece is going to jail. Will Arthur pay off the jail fee? Let's see. Turn, you got double, so. Advance to go. Really, he needs go? So turn one. Turn two, do not pay it off, so it needs an 11 or an 8 or doubles to pay it off. I was hoping you at least let on one railroad. He got a 5 instead. So I get $8 off the jail fee. That is not good. He did not pay off the jail fee. I lost $52 in jail. Lose 60 from that and only gain 8. Red Arthur, make a trade offer. So, he would like Pennsylvania Avenue, which makes sense. His offer does have to be rejected. Ten or eight, sixteen dollars. I did lose fifty-two, so, you know, it's nice having some revenue. Even if it's sixteen dollars. Look at that, twenty dollars. Every little bit helps. Up to 512. No, good. You got the double railroad card. You know, then I get $400. 26 back to Arthur. Good, I pass go. Come on. 10 to Arthur. How was that helpful? Set. All right, free parking. Really? He gets out for free. And he lands on the property that he owns. Arthur's doing a great job of avoiding paying money when it comes to jail. Not in the beginning. In the beginning, he just paid the $50 and he paid instantly. Let's see, I got a 7. Good. Keep landing on Pennsylvania Avenue. Arthur, don't land on Park Place. The best thing you know, I mean, I did, yes, reduce it, but I didn't eliminate it, so. You obviously still want to make trade offers. But your offer does have to be rejected. Really? $75? Oh, come on, another get out of jail free card? Oh, come on, $6 to Arthur? Well, we keep playing on property that he owns. Up to $7.95. Keep passing go. Hopefully Arthur will give me some money, and so I don't have to just wait till he pass and go. See? $50. That's good. Wow, he landed on Venture Avenue. Good. $1,045. So, no point making a trade for, you know, the green property, because what? No, $2,250. Well, Arthur's doing a great job of, at least recently, of avoiding these railroads. Arthur's headed for jail, which he will get up for free again. $18 to Arthur. He doesn't even get to use the get out of jail free card. He's going to get out for free. He gave me $14. I'm okay with it, you know, $14. I'm okay with that. 1041 Arthur wants to make another trade offer. So, you need to land on my Monopoly so then I can you know, get rid of these trade outlets. You know? Then I need to, of course, get, you know, a light blue. Connecticut Avenue, take that off your hands. Really, income tax? Wow, I am not gonna, you know... And if I keep laying out income tax, $10 to Arthur. Wow, he got doubles again in jail? Wow. And that's, alright, $20. Good. 
Thank you for giving me twenty dollars. Good. See, I don't mind letting on railroads because I own them. Hundred fifty dollars. See, don't even let in a railroad. It'd be, it'd be nice if you do. You did. See, fifty dollars. I can just collect it in other ways. Twenty-five dollars. That's good. There we go. You have to give me six dollars. Perfectly okay with that. Take thirty-five back. And I'll take ten dollars back. Good. Phew. Good. Up to fourteen fifty-seven. Let's avoid properties that are their owns. So then, if I collect enough money, I'll take his properties away. By trade, of course. Seat 7. Arthur doesn't even have to do that. It would help make this process go quicker. He did that, but he obviously doesn't have to. Well, you're not getting Boardwalk. Why would I give you Boardwalk? You know, you would get a Monopoly. Arthur is headed for jail. Don't worry, he'll be getting out for free. Hope you'll have to use the get out of jail free card. You should tell it, good. I want Arthur getting that card. On oh, the second chance, he gets doubles again. At least this time he has to give me $20. Alright, $20, I'm okay with that. What is next? $14, see, $20. Fourteen thirty-four dollars. See, every little bit counts. See, to sixteen eighty-three. And when you're ready to land on the railroad, see, twenty-two dollars. Whenever you're ready to land on the railroad or my monopoly, seventeen oh five. Good. He gets an eight. Twenty-eight dollars. See, it's starting to add up a little. See, twenty-eight twenty-two. Hey, oh, come on, 35 back. He got a three. Come on, stop landing on park, please. All right, Arthur, make a trade offer. He wants Pennsylvania Avenue. Why would I give him Pennsylvania Avenue? He unfortunately took my money, so. 1898. See, we need 2250, so. Take it right in the reading. $200. See, $20.98. See, Arthur, you didn't even have to land the ball to you know, Monopoly or a railroad. Double railroad card. I really want Arthur getting that card. That's what we pass go, and then let's avoid a luxury tax, so I can do that. $20.84. There we go. So, you did not land a railroad. See? I didn't even need a railroad to take Oriental Avenue off his hands for $2,250. It's a good deal. You know, I get my second Monopoly. You get $2,250. You know, it's a good deal. And it'll make it, you know, a little, a little three extra spaces to extend the Monopoly. There we go. It's a deal. Arthur does have a lot of money, but I, I did get my second Monopoly. Then I'll go for States, and then the Orange, and possibly have to take away Trade Outlet from the Green, and then possibly Boardwalk. May, maybe the Red, but I would rather take Boardwalk, because that would be the end of his Trade Outlets if I took Boardwalk. So, unfortunately, that Monopoly trade did not get rid of a trade out. He still has three. And you are definitely not getting Boardwalk. Eight. Let's, oh, come now, I can't even take a chance. So, he missed it anyway. Although he has to go back three spaces, so he gets another shot at it. It's only, what, 12 and $16, so... Ridiculous, so... 
St. Charles has to go to pay for that. Watch him. Oh, there we go. $16. I almost did Connecticut Avenue. You know, $16. That's more than what I would have got for, you know, St. Charles Place. Would have been a pretty good chance. Let's unmortgage St. Charles Place. Let's put three houses here. It's all right, you know, I believe it's 40 and 30 for houses if he lands on it. Let's try to get some hotels. Oh, well, well, you know, he's going to walk around the board with. He got a 12, so he is back in the Monopoly area. Seven. Fifty dollars. I'll take it. I'm supposed to reject his money. Let's take a chance. Put two more houses here. Connecticut. And I guess Vermont would get it. Vermont got the house. That's good. He missed it. But he has to go to the double railroad card. $400. That's good. $400. Waiting for him to get that card. I could refund his money for a green property, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep the money. For now. Obviously, you have to spend oxy 18. Good thing I did not do, you know. Let's put six houses here, even though I could have put seven. I want to see, oh, $50. Wow. Thank you for giving me $20. Just in case I land on luxury tax. Good, I'll take a railroad. I'll land on a railroad, not take one. I'll land on one. Now, come on, income tax. He landed on go. So, let's see. Let's take a chance. Put that final house on Oriental Avenue. That's good. You know, Oriental, we'll get its fourth house. Three still. Oh, he got a seven, really? And he's going to jail? He avoided my monopoly. Why am I not surprised? He avoided my monopoly. Arthur's been doing a great job of avoiding my monopoly. The only time he landed on a railroad is when he got the double railroad card. I don't think he's going to be suing me now. Out you go. Get out of jail. Jail. For free. So, make another trade offer. So, what does he want? He wants boardwalk. That makes sense, you know, he wants boardwalk. His offer, unfortunately, has to be rejected. Alright, so let's give me some money. He did not give me any money this turn. $26. Few, alright. Anything but a two. Oh, yeah, eight. Thank you. Now I can get a two. I don't mind that right now. I just got $80 from Arthur. 106, so. Let's put hotels here. So now they have hotels. This is good. You don't have second monopoly of the game. That's hotels. Hope they can avoid getting assessed. <laughs> really? Arthur gets a bank error in his favor. How is that helpful? Good, pay me $50 of that bank error in your favor. So let's save up $2,000 for, you know, State's Avenue. Now Arthur has to deal with a second monopoly. He could easily, you know, avoid those, but he didn't. $550. That's good, you know, $550. let us see, would have been $550, closer to $2,000. Well, you're not getting Pennsylvania Avenue, even though I could refund your money. Look at that. $200. Good, I'll take $200. That pays off the jail fee. All right, let's see. It's 12. And then St. Charles Place. It's good, you know? All right. $16. It's good, you know, $16. I'm okay with getting $16. All right, land on that. See, up to $11.72. Hopefully, I do not get assessed. That would be very bad. 
Tiggy walk on the boardwalk. That helps. But look at that. $50. Look at that. Another two weeks left to $14.20 get the land on. Oh, let's see. Connecticut. Pay poor tax of fifteen. Arthur wants to make another trade offer. But needs the land on my monopoly, then I'll take the purple. Then I can take the orange and get rid of a trade outlet. Then I'll take obviously the light the light green property. Ten dollars. That's the minimum amount I can give Arthur. Ten dollars. It was increased when I took Oriental Avenue. And then it'll be increased again if I take States Avenue. And then increased again if I take the orange and then I'll obviously take green. Arthur is headed for jail again. How we don't need Arthur going to jail. Alright, he got a seven, so. And now a five. Turn two. Let's see. So he gets nine. Twenty-six dollars. I don't believe I paid it off. I gave him forty-four, I believe. So he's down six, but what does he get here? Pay hospital. Can't be paying that hospital. Jake, we have to. Oh, come on, assist! Wow, I get assist. $500. Alright, your offer does have to be rejected. Look at that $200 consolation prize. That definitely didn't help that I got assist at all. See, and now I'm down to eleven ninety-seven. dollars 97 Do I click $50? All right, help me out by landing on a Monopoly. Hopefully two. Because if you give me two, unless it's Baltic and Mediterranean. Seven. Mediterranean's one of them. $250. That helps. We're up to $15.15. Advance to go. Now it doesn't matter which Monopoly he lands on. $600. Unfortunately, that cost you State's Avenue. So, and look at that. I have enough for in case I, you know, had an income tax. So I'll take State's Avenue off his hands for $2,000. This is a good deal, you know. $2,000 and I get my third Monopoly of the game. So of course, I'll get rid of the trade outlet, but, you know, three Monopolies, it'll help me you know, get that orange property. That orange property. Two thousand five hundred for that. I get a nine. So let's put houses here. They will all get one. No problem with them all getting one. You know what I feel? Oh, you got a three. All right, three. Thirty dollars. He got a three. It's ten dollars more than getting a two. So he gets an 8. Alright, free parking. So of course I've increased the minimum amount of money I can give Arthur. Up from 10 to 14. So let's try to make that 18 very soon. Arthur's going to jail. He got a 7. Alright, he's going to make another trade offer. So he would like Boardwalk. And his offer does have to be rejected. You know, landing on board life insurance matures. Look at that. I get, you know, $100. Good. Let's see. Uh, let's take a chance. I believe he's getting out. So, put, take a chance. Three more houses. Oh, I forgot I have to roll again. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I got doubles. Arthur, look at that. He paid the $50 to get out of jail. Out you go. $16. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's hope let's try to get that up to 32 soon. Of course, I still need $900 to, to put the houses there. And of course, to save up. Alright, 26 to Arthur. Thank you. $50. That was very helpful. You know, getting $50.
Hey, let's see. Bank gives them fifty dollars. Up to two eighty-five. What is it? Seven? That is not good. Four fifty. Yes, he got two hundred for go, but he had to pay me four hundred fifty dollars. So let's put six houses here and let's put a hotel there, just in case. Put a hotel there. Because it's cheaper if you have a hotel, you get assessed on a community chest. You have a hotel versus four houses. And it's cheaper versus three houses. Actually. Let's put two more hotels. It's good, you know. So we need $2,500 to get Tennessee Avenue, which I just landed on. Phew, thank you for getting assessed. Thank you, Arthur. You got assessed. Assessed, yeah. Well, you're not getting Pennsylvania Avenue. Three, good. Hopefully, you know, this will help, you know, having that third monopoly. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed on that, it, but definitely helps, you know. $50, I need $2,500, so it really helps to have, you know, three monopolies. You got a four. And eventually, I will take North Carolina, I guess. I'll, oh, come on, that doesn't help, I have income tax and losing the go money. Look at that, $250. That's a good deal, you know, two fifty. I got the go money back, plus an additional $50. That doesn't help. $550. Up to $1,221. Alright, that's good. You landed on two of them. Alright, you gave me $800. So, fine with that. Or how about you get the card that says go to St. Charles Place, you know, $750. If I get it, you know. It depends where I land. It could be a $200 card, or it could be, well, just move up four spaces. Look at that, thank goodness. Arthur got assessed. Three. Twelve, look at that. Fifty dollars. That's good, I need fifty dollars. Seven. There we go, five hundred fifty dollars. Keep giving me 550 to 1847. Don't land on the purple property. He landed on the purple. I said, don't land on it. $750. So unfortunately, that has cost him a trade outlet and Tennessee Avenue. $2,500 for Tennessee Avenue. I mean, they all have to put that programming in to say, like, oh, but they, oh, if no one wants to trade the game, just end. So they clearly needed, you know, some programming to, to, you know, make sure that the player would have a chance at winning. So $2,500. It's a deal. Seven. Income tax. I could have taken a chance, but I don't think Tennessee Avenue would have gotten it. So he is down to two trade outlets. So let's put houses there. Two and two. Come on, three. that's the maximum amount I can give Arthur. Thirty-five dollars. Let's see. I guess I'm probably gonna make two more trades. I guess one for Boardwalk and one for either North Carolina or Pacific Avenue. He got a seven. That is not good. You paid $200. You can't be giving me $200. It's Illinois Avenue. All right, let's put five houses here. Let's, you know, increase the damage. Two of them will have two. One will have one. $26. Eight. Wow, that is not good. Now I can increase the damage. Before that Arthur will like to make a trade offer, he can no longer do the orange property. 
He, but he can do Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, he could have refunded his money, but I'm not going to. Let's put four houses here. So, oh, I could have put five, but I land on luxury tax. So, let's see. Twelve. Two hundred dollars. Good, I need two hundred dollars. So let's give me two hundred dollars. That's fine. Avoid the monopoly. That's all right. Give me two hundred dollars. I'm fine with that. It's not the monopoly, but hey, two hundred dollars is fine. Five. Up to four fifty-nine. Let's see. Two hundred dollars. Now he wants to land on the railroad. He's like, oh, I have to give him two hundred dollars. Let's put. Hotels here, it's much better than landing on the Monopoly. Because any Monopoly pays, pays me more than the railroads will. So, hotels. So let's see, let's see how fast he gets the money. I get the money. Will I go for a boardwalk or one of the green properties? If I get it pretty fast, I'll go for a boardwalk. If not, I'll just go for you know, the green property. He got a six, so. $150. It's okay, you know, $150. My fee's going to jail. Arthur just paid off the jail fee. $900. Hopefully I don't get assessed so I gain money in jail. It's not impossible for him to not pay it off. This is much easier. Much easier for him to pay it off. Because boardwalk... Any monopoly, a railroad, even a utility. Look at that, I'm getting off for free. Do not get assessed. Use utility, good. He got a seven. Let's see, he's almost there, so. Unless he trades for a green property, then I'll go for then I'll, I'm gonna go for boardwalk. Six. It's good. Eight. $24. I'll take $24. Head back to the Monopoly area. Seven. Up to $14.51. He got a four. Doctor's fee pay 50. Not good. He has entered the Monopoly area. Get out of jail for free. Already avoided. Both can Mediterranean, that's fine. Ooh, look at that. Six hundred dollars. Not good. So I'll take Park Place Office Hands for two thousand dollars. It's a good deal, you know. He I get, you know, Park Place, he loses a trade outlet. He'll be down to one. And of course it's the last big trade outlet that'll cost me two thousand. You know, two thousand plus dollars. There we go. I'll take Park Place office hands. Let's roll again. Hey, that's the minimum I can amount I can give Arthur. Xmas fun matures. He avoided that monopoly. What a surprise! He lands in Indiana. Arthur is down to four properties. You inherit a hundred dollars. So let's go right for the trade. Let's get rid of that final trade outlet to, you know, end this. At least trade outlets. Then we'll build house on Boardwalk and Park Place. 357. 7. Take it right in the reading. That just cost you North Carolina Avenue. Let's see. Look, at Arthur is doing my work for me. Look, at he wants to make a trade offer. But thankfully, Arthur, he did my work for me. So I'm gonna, you're going to take, take North Carolina Avenue for $400. And now you have no more trade outlets. This will be your final trade of this game. Offer of this game. $400. He said yes. It's a deal. Arthur has no more trade outlets. Oh, come on. I wanted Arthur getting that card. Oh, come on. $18? Really? My piece is going to jail? How oh, is that helpful? At least Arthur paid off the jail fee. $600. So 
So there's no need for any more trades by anyone. Up to $800 in jail. Now hopefully I do not get assessed so I can gain money in jail. Even though I already said that. But last time I was in jail, I had to get 800 The jail fee was paid off. $24, so I believe, what was it? $846. So, let's see. Oh, I forgot I'm not getting out because he's most of us another a sh sh shot at giving me money. He didn't even land on luxury tax, so. Will I get a seven? I get a six, so I gained money in jail. So let's put houses on boardwalk and park place. We'll put four, two each. Pay $800 for that. Even though we just landed on boardwalk, but it's okay. Five fifty. It's good now. I think there's no point in making any more trades. Let's put three houses here. Might as well. Four and three. $18. Wow. I keep giving it Arthur the minimum amount I can give him. I give him $18, 22 and 26 I can only give money on those three properties, so. 12 let's see. Good, $200. I can only spend 400 because there's only one hotel left. So let's do that together. Might as well. He got a four. $200. So Parker's will have four houses and ball and Boardwalk will have a hotel on it. I'm almost in Baltic. Not trade. Why did I do trade? Thankfully, you know, I got rid of that screen before. Hotel on Boardwalk, not Park Place. So there, because I said no more trade offers. But they didn't do a trade offer. I just accidentally clicked the trade button by mistake. Ooh, you can't be losing that go money. Not under any set of circumstances. See, look at that. $750. That'll help in case I get assessed. Four repairs. Seven. $45. Few. I have to be concerned about the community chest and chance. You know, I don't want to get assessed. Ooh, that is not good. Nine hundred fifty dollars. Eighteen seventy. Good. Let's keep. You know, gain some money. Wow. Twenty-two dollars. Two thousand ninety-four. Go back three spaces. All right. There goes the gold money. But Arthur, I get it. Bit. Let, not gold money, but Arthur gave me two hundred dollars. Let's see. Arthur, 3,546. He gained 200 so far. Will he get to keep it? Nope. So far, $600. So he's lost 600. He's down 400. Good to go, of course. He got a three. All right, down 30. That's all right. Just he landed on one, so that's fine. Or even just land on Boardwalk, that would help as well. He got an eight, so he avoided land on one Monopoly. That's fine. He's not gaining money. It was $600. See, $80. That's good, you know, $80. He is back in the Monopoly area. He avoided Boardwalk and Park Place. It's okay, you know, avoid Boardwalk and Place. Double rip. All right, let's see. Two thousand nine seven. So there goes the go money. Two hundred dollars. That is not good. You can't be giving me two hundred dollars. Eighteen. Oh, so you get to keep. There we go. Seven hundred fifty dollars. That is not good. We're down to two thousand two hundred forty-seven dollars. Seven. My piece is going to jail. And Arthur decided to pay off the jail fee. $950. Well, it means if it lands on boardwalk, that means 
The game would end, and I would end the game in jail. Turn one, okay. Eight. Twenty, but still not in range, so... Now here's turn number two. Don't get doubles. He did not get doubles, good. So I will get out of jail for now. If I get back in jail, I'll obviously have to get out instantly. Let's see, if he gets an eight, that's not a problem. Oh, he lost $75. Not good, you can't be losing $75. You're about to enter the Monopoly area. He is up 200. He got a five. Oh, there goes the go money. You need to stop landing on Reading Railroad. Down to $1,200. Eight. Good, I'll take that. Nine. Nine hundred dollars. He is down to three hundred dollars. Lands on the orange property, I believe. Yeah, the orange property of Boardwalk. The game is over. Go to jail. So, obviously gonna get it instantly. I'll be happy to pay the fifty dollars. I want to end the game in jail. Look, that I would have ended the game in jail. All right, so the game is finally over. I didn't. But, alright, so I will see you all in the next video.